today I just met Julian Rim and I just uh, realized that recently I've been playing lots of music that were written for him. So I was thinking, and also in the past I've, I've played uh, many pieces written for Segovia and uh, for John Williams. So let's say without Segovia, without Julian Rim and John Williams, what are we going to play now, especially the 20th century? So I think uh, um, these three people, they're so important um, in every way and including the, the repertoire development. And I think for instrument, uh, repertoire is very, very important, especially for classical guitar, because in the past we, we didn't <laughs> have that um, big mainstream uh, repertoire, so we need to work from now. Um, so in a way, I, I, I hope that I could follow the, the path from the, the masters. Um, and uh, I'm planning to set up a foundation um, and use the foundation to commission new works from the leading composers for guitar. And, uh, and I've done lots of transcriptions and uh, many people, they are interested in purchasing my transcriptions. So I'm going to make my transcri transcriptions available and use the, the profit to, um, to commission new works. So I'm, I'm hoping that the next generation, they could be benefiting from, from, from yeah. <laughs> us to have some great music to play. I always wanted to really ask a leading Chinese composer to write a piece for, for me and for guitar, um, inspired from the, the Chinese culture. And very fortunately, thanks to the Wigmore Hall, they helped commissioning a new piece for me uh, from Chinese composer called Chen Yi, who based in USA, and he, she's, a very, she's a leading Chinese composer. So she wrote this piece called Shuo Chan. I've just got the score last week. And Shuo Chang is a folk style of mono drama. So you, you sing and you speak and then play, but I'm using the guitar to represent everything. <laughs> and I'm going to give the world premiere on uh, 3rd of November in the Wigum House. So I'm looking forward <laughs> to it. It's going to be the first piece um, I can meet, well, uh, you know, I, I, I had. Uh, from a Chinese composer written for me. But also next year, I'm going to play this guitar concerto uh, uh, wrote by Tan Dun, another Chinese composer, with a Melbourne Symphony. Mm -hmm. So that is a piece I, I, I wanted to play for, for ages. At the beginning, I, t I just thought that, oh, I'm Chinese, and I wanted to play music from my country on my instrument. So, and then I realized that we had, we had zero <laughs> repertoire to play. But then, I. Uh, during the process of doing research, I found that actually there is some similarity between Spanish and, and Chinese, because especially on guitar, because guitar, uh, the, the instrument traced back from Middle East, which is not too far from, from you know, Far East. And we had lots of plucked instruments in China, so some of the repertoire, some of the technique on the Chinese plucked instrument I could adapt. And also, uh, for example, pipa, the Chinese version of guitar, you can tell the sound from guitar and pipa, they sound, the, the, the sounds are a bit similar. Um, the style of the, the playing the music, in a way, for example, the Spanish music, they have this very rhythmic uh, part and you use lots of uh, uh, rasqueados and, then, and then, then they have very lyrical, very singing bit, like in the flamenco guitar style, they use lots of tremolos. And on pipa, the same, they have very rhythmic piece describing war, and then they use lots of rasqueados. And uh, in the singing part, they use lots of tremolo. So in a way, I find, I find that there's some similarity, and I could probably continue to, to, to researching. I, I started in the Central Conservatory of Music in Beijing, and I was in the, I was in the boarding school the first few years. And we, in our class, we, we were mixed. Uh, all, all kinds of instruments, we, we were mixed together. So in the dormitory, in the classroom, in the practicing room, I, I heard these sounds, all kinds of sounds from the Chinese instruments all the time. And sometimes, you know, the pipa player, they would get interest in how I play and I would ask them how they play. So I kind of quite familiar <laughs> with, with uh, the playing and the music. Uh, to be honest, a lot of people, uh, they would refer me as uh, playing Spanish guitar and I don't, 100% agree because uh, Spanish repertoire is very uh, uh, important for us and it's a core repertoire, but we can play many, many different things, many, many different styles. And I, I think that is an advantage of our instrument. And I believe guitar is a very versatile instrument and, uh, and which can play lots of different styles. So um, yes, so I hope that we can continue to, to develop 
in the in the different styles of music. Uh, but also, I think for normal audience, they probably relate to guitar to sp Spain, and they don't know we actually have lots of repertoire from say Italy or France or Germany. So we need to we need to probably as a player, I think we need to continue and play uh, wonderful music to a bigger audience. <laughs>